Hi, welcome to another fingernail fixer video. Let's take a look at layering stamping with robot dandruff. So I have applied two layers of shellac in my case. You could also use gel polish. I've applied top coat and then buffed the shiny layer off the top coat to make sure absolutely nothing is sticky because I want my design to be the only thing that's sticky. Then grab your stamping plate and you can use gel polish. My preference is usually to use Lauren's stamping, oh gosh, is it stamping goop, stamping gel, stamping gel, but I ran out and I wanted to make this video right now. I'm impatient and so I'm making it with gel polish, but stamping gel is faster and easier than gel polish and gives you a more reliable transfer. Pick it up, pick up your, what you're going to stamp with onto your stamper and transfer it onto your nail. And this is why I buffed the nail to make sure that it was completely dull because I want to be sure nothing was sticky except for my stamped design. Cure that stamp design and we're gonna rub in that robot dandruff. And the handy little scruffy brush is nice for rubbing in the robot dandruff because it's soft enough to press the robot dandruff in but stiff enough that you can also kind of rub the robot dandruff off of the center parts where the design is not stamped so that we end up with just what we stamped. Then I want to layer another design on top of this to give it a little bit of dimension. And so I'm going to stamp on this again with the same design, yet offset the stamp a little bit. So I'm not going to stamp exactly on top of it, which is where the clear stamper is going to come in handy. So once you finish kind of scrubby brushing off the robot dandruff out of where your design is not stamped at, we'll come back in and stamp the design again. Now, if you're really OCD and you need there to be no robot dandruff outside of your stamp, you could bring in a dotting tool, you could bring in a silicone tool or any of those other things and get it off the nail. Or you could do a much more thorough job buffing the top coat off the nail before you do the stamp. Once you finish that, come in with your stamping plate again and pick up the same stamp again. Again, if you want it to be a really quick and easy pickup, you can use the stamping gel. If you don't mind being patient and taking a little more time for the pickup, you can use a gel polish or shellac. Place it on the design, scrape it, and then pick it up onto your stamper. If you hold your scraper with your thumb across, it kind of helps give you a little more even pressure. And if you need some help with stamping, I do have some tutorials that are just geared towards stamping. Now this is where the clear stamper comes really handy. We're gonna look through that and focus on lining that up. And this is really tricky because the stamp is black and the nail is black. So it's kind of hard to line it up. So if you kind of look at the table towel through the stamper and kind of look at where the table towel lines up and where the crosshatch is on the table towel and then where your colored crosshatch is and kind of line that up, it's much easier. Now, instead of doing a second color of robot dandruff, I thought it would be fun to actually go in with diamond chrome. 
So then we have the diamond chrome with the robot dandruff to get two different layers of color. Now you could go in and do the diamond chrome with a couple of different things. You can use your eyeshadow applicator, or you could also do your silicone tools. I've gotten to where I like to do silicone tools for the chromes because I don't have to keep replacing them like I was with the eyeshadow applicators. So just get in there and really rub the chrome into that design after you've cured it. And what I love about layering the chrome over the robot dandruff is because you have the multiple colors in the robot dandruff and because the chrome has that wicked mirror shine, it ends up looking like a laser light show. If you've ever been to some sort of concert or stage show that has a laser light show, this really looks like a laser light show. It's so much fun. And using either one of the robot dandruffs as a background or using a holographic foil as a background, it really t takes on the look of a laser light show. And using different colors of chrome could also give you the same style of effect. This is the plate that I used to get that pattern. I hope you had fun creating this laser light show look. Make sure you really seal the edges of the nail with top coat when you do any type of design so that your client gets longevity of the look. We would cure the top coat after we apply it. This is what your finished nail is going to look like. I hope you had fun doing this design. Thank you so much for joining me today and taking the time out of your busy day. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Definitely subscribe so that you're the first to know about new videos. Feel free to join me on Instagram and Facebook for other things that come around. And I'll see you on the next tutorial.